Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead Cod Plus series. We're jumping into another new run, keeping us on our streak, building it back up. And this time we get Tainted Eve. Always a little bit of a struggle bus of a character, but I'm always welcome to play a Tainted character, because that means more unlocks. But does mean a slightly harder time for us. I mean, I don't know, I tend to, I tend to think Eve is like pure dog shit in the early game. Um, can, can you... Do you know what? I'm sumping. The, these little, these little fucking things. Wisps were following my sump babies. That's not fair. Yeah, I, like stop following my sumps. That's not fair. Um, that's not okay. But yeah, um, I feel like her starting fire rate is nothing short of absolutely fucking brutal. Um, I, I just can't fathom why they decided to make it that low. Like, I understand that late game she gets more powerful and she can abuse red hearts, but, like, I don't want to sump on the first floor. Like, I need to be having words with Ipecac. I, I keep forgetting, but, like, what the hell are these rooms? This is the first floor, my guy. I have 1.2 fire rate. 1.2. <laughs> I know it's an Ipecac room because it has these eye sack things. I'm pretty sure they're from Ipecac. But we, we did just get um, eye saw, which will help a bit because we're going to fire extra shots. Obviously, it doesn't always mean we'll fire shots in the direction we want. Oh my lord, I've already taken two hits. The, um, the two down there are in a really awkward spot because there's an eternal fly poop right next to them. Oh god, I've trapped myself, haven't I? Yep. Okay. Dead. <laughs> well, there's that street gone. Yeah, that room is that room is a, a big old bag. Big old bag of horseshit. I'm getting right into the episode and swearing off the bat, but it's it it needs to be said. Those rooms need a rework. Big please. Big please. There is no reason an enemy on the f uh, a thingy on the first floor should have that many ridiculous amount of enemies. It's, it's insane. And there's so many rocks as well, so it's like I can't even get out the way of most of the attacks. I mean, I did box myself in there. I shouldn't have died. I, I admit the death is is entirely my fault, but still. Anyways, we've, we've got ourselves a, a boss here that I would hope will give us some HP here. If he gives us the item, I'll be very happy. He did. He didn't, but we at least do get to give this a go. I do think as well the the Sumptorium babies do bleed out way too quickly. I realize the intention is so that you... This is another one of the rooms with just way too many enemies. And this is this one again is from Ipecac. Um, I do realize that the whole point is you're meant to like re-sump them back up. To, to like respawn them and refill their health pool. But um, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't know if there's a mod that like unnerfs. Eve, but I kind of, I, I, I kind of wish there was, because I do, I think the nerf is, is necessary in the late game, but in the early game, it just feels savage. Like, we just lost a, a, a sump baby there that we shouldn't have lost. I'm trying. Oh my god. Why was that dude not dying? Hanged man. We might be able to do something with that. Ooh, Little Heretic, and he's upgradable. Nice to know. Interesting to get Little Heretic this early on. I don't know how good he's going to be, but I expect he's going to be decent uh, because he can apply the weakness effect to enemies, for those of you that don't know what that does. That's the same effect from the Reverse Strength card that essentially makes enemies take 50% more damage. It's really, really nice. So having him around is going to be great. Oh, everything in this room's been weakened. Literally, I think it also slows somewhat as well by the looks of it. It seems like their movement was a little bit hindered. I'm hoping we can get a bomb and open up that Tinted Roth there, but we don't know. Also, this guy does some, uh, a decent bit of damage too with the laser connected. But anyways, for the question of the day, for the question of the day, what is something that happened to you earlier in life that left a very lasting impression? What is something, like, good that happened to you? It doesn't have to be bad. doesn't have to... Uh, I, I'd, I'd prefer it to be good. But you could... If it's bad, fair enough. But what is something that, like, at a younger age... It doesn't have to be very young, but at a younger age left a very lasting impression on you. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna sump this guy back up just so I don't die. 
And then hopefully let little heretic do the work. Dude. Dude. I'm so dead again. Okay, not not quite dead, but having a hard time. Please give us hearts. Damn it, this thing can't give hearts. It did at least give us a fire rate upgrade though. But in a bad spot once again. Like I I just this this is just proof. Like I am definitely a good player in this game. I have enough hours to know I'm a good player. I shouldn't be struggling this much ever. I'm not saying I want the game like to be super easy, but the early game shouldn't be this hard. She is a savage beast. Wow. The peeper. <laughs> to be fair, the peeper does give us a small damage up in one of our eyes, so... I, I won't turn that down. That is kind of nice. We do have this as well. Not really what I was looking for. Really not what I was looking for, but... Hey, her. Get away! Get away! Okay. Finally, we got some hearts. We're back to actually firing like normal, sadly. I will grab this. I'll come back and get that if I need it. But right now, I do not. I'm just kind of hoping that Little Heretic can carry us here. I really need a hard carry from this fella. But yeah, for me, I, I think it would probably have to be my science teacher in secondary school. Um, he was just awesome. He was like, he, to be fair, he was a drunk. <laughs> He'd come in like hungover all the time. But he was just really, really supportive. Oh, I messed that up. I should have spawned some sump babies there. He was just really, really supportive and like really friendly and really easy to get along with and kind of treat us all as adults even though we weren't at the time obviously and it was just it was just refreshing it seemed to genuinely care about teaching despite the fact that he always came in hungover but we were like yeah it's whatever um and i gotta say we we, we all in the class really really enjoyed uh, his teaching the one thing i will say that did annoy me is our very last day of school. So I had I had a lot of science when I was at school. I had a lot of science classes with this guy. Okay, this this is um Oh god. I am too slow and I lost my devil deal. Um oh fuck me. We launched those out at some speed, boy. Grab both of those. A cell heart. Oh look at my little baby. Oh they're like little sumps. That's so cute. That's so cute. Uh, but yeah, in, in our last, so I had a lot of science. Basically, um, I did in, so I started secondary school in year seven. And then in year, I think year eight was the first year I had classes with him. And then I had classes with him in year nine and year 10 as well. And then in year, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, in year 11, which was my last year at secondary school, um, I uh, had triple science as one of my options that was like one of the one of the things i picked i had double science as one of my regular subjects and then because of some fuckery with the exam board we had to retake uh, regular science so i was doing literally single double and triple science all in the same year and i think i i think at one time i like checked it out over the course of like three days i had i think it was 14 science lessons in a row um, and honestly, most people would like hate that. I, I loved it. It was great. I, I had a bunch of my friends in the class and the teacher was pretty ace. Um, and um, by the way, I realize I'm not spawning any sump babies right now. I'm just not confident until we get a bit more HP to honestly do that. Um, honestly, our little heretic dude is doing just, just good enough of a job to get me through this nonetheless. Um, yeah, so one, one kind of weird thing about my school that I have didn't realize was weird at the time, but after speaking to literally anyone else in the UK or America is apparently really weird. So in, in the UK, I don't know how they do it in America but, or, or other countries, but in the UK, when you get to your, uh, when you get to year nine, so after you've been in secondary school for two years, you then select your options, which are essentially the subjects you choose to do extra amounts of and choose to get like extra GCSEs in, which was the grades that we went for. Um, and in uh, instead, most of the time, what would, what would be the case is that you would have like six lessons of this option a week spread out evenly throughout the week. And obviously you picked two different options. So essentially I'd like 12 lessons spread out throughout the whole week of these different lessons. But we didn't do that. 
Instead, at my school, we had normal lessons on Monday, normal lessons on Wednesday, and normal lessons on Friday, but Tuesday was a full day of one option, and Thursday was a full day of another option. So literally your entire school day, you just did one different, you just did one subject. Which, I, whenever I tell people about that, ooh, this could be really good. Uh, whenever I tell people about that, they're always like, oh my god, that sounds horrible. But it's like, but you pick the subject, so is it horrible? I feel like if you pick a subject you want to do, and then you get to do that subject all day instead of subjects you don't want to do. That's just a wholeheartedly positive experience. At least I'd think it is. Um, ooh, humble bundle. I would try. I would like to try and grab that. Uh, yeah, for me that was just a wholeheartedly positive experience. Like I had absolutely no problem with it. Like in my first year. So so basically, what we were advised to do essentially was in year nine pick two subjects that you like but you don't really care about for a career so i picked cooking and media studies which i actually ended up quite liking media studies is why i went to youtube and things like that so i do kind of regret doing that in an earlier year but they they, they were basically your fuck about subjects where you just did whatever you wanted and you didn't really care about what grade you got um and then in your second year and your third year, so year um, 10 and 11, were like your subjects that you really, really wanted to do or like wanted to sort of use to get into college or university, things like that. So I think in year, in year 10, I picked IT and what the hell else did I pick? I can't actually remember now. I picked IT and geography. I don't know why I picked geography. Didn't really care about geography at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, I picked IT and Geography, and then in year 11, I picked Triple Science, and I was going to pick Business Studies, but I got shoehorned into the invent uh, intervention thing that I mentioned in the last episode, yep. Good hit, boys, good hit. Yeah, I got shoehorned into the intervention thing. Essentially, um, they were like, well, you need to get better at English and, uh, and maths, but I didn't actually need the maths, so, as, as I mentioned. But you need to get better at English, so I was like, Okay, then. I guess I'll do extra English, even though I didn't want to. But they were like, nah, you got, you kind of got to. I was like, okay, fair enough, fair enough. So I did that. I ended up quite liking the intervention thing. Like, I was in, a, in class with a lot of the, like, people that messed around a lot. And, like, there was a reason they were bad at these things, because they didn't really listen. But one good thing about those people is they are quite a laugh. <laughs> they were quite fun. Um, plus one key when first picked up, replaced all chests, uh, with golden chests, can I trade extra pickups or trinkets? Quite like the idea, and it's plus one key. Um, maybe I should take this pill. Maybe I should take the pill. Relax. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think we're getting enough for Humble Bundle, although I do have a little bit of a backup plan. First of all, let me just check, okay, can't reach that penny. I do have a bit of a backup plan on this uh, this part. For one, we can shoot the poops and try it that way, which I don't think is going to be the most successful option for us. The other option, I'm not bombing for one penny either. The other option is there was a nickel-eyed keeper um, within the shop, but it was barred behind a few different things. So if I bomb my way through to that guy, to that guy, there's one penny. And if this guy gives us a nickel, you little... You little shyster. Um, yeah, probably not going to get it now, are we? I guess I could look for secret room. I'm honestly not super confident on where it is. I've got I've got two pretty good ideas, but I honestly don't know. Okay, I don't think it can be to the left. No, it definitely can't. So, wait, can it be to the right either? It can't be to the right either. Okay, so both of my good ideas have gone straight out the window. I have absolutely no idea where the secret room is now. So my last remaining option is also gone. Uh, where the bloody hell is it? I mean, there's a small chance. There's a small chance it's here. So let's just check it. It is there. Weird. Very weird. A wholeheartedly strange place for a secret room. And we got a so we got another penny. We got a bomb back. So we can try and get our second secret room. <sighs> Let's let me let me just do a little finagling here. Cause if, if there's if there's a way that I can get a single penny without having to use a bomb or anything. Didn't I have a hanged man card at some point that I never 
messed with. Okay, so if this gives me one penny. <gasps> oh, okay, it's a sticky nickel. That's fine. Okay, we did it. We did it. Humbling Bundle is ours. Now, Humbling Bundle is good for, obviously, the main reason of it just giving us more consumables. But the secondary reason I really wanted it is it can spawn doubled hearts, which means that we can get more Sumptorian babies and more procs out of Candied Heart, which I think is going to be very, very useful. Very, very useful indeed. So let's grab that now. And hopefully this carries us through the rest of the run. I mean, we are still in a sticky situation. Um... I, I very, I was just about to say, I very, very highly doubt we get our devil deal here. In fact, I very, very highly doubt we survive this. Um, I honestly think we're going to have a hard time living here. Oh, dude, this, this guy's brutal. Holy, we're dead. That's too many rocks, my sir. <laughs> this character sucks butts, sucks butts, sucks butts, sucks butts. This character really, really, really sucks, but I wish, I wish I could actually spawn some plots. Yeah, I didn't actually consider the uh, the fact that, for one, I'd get a difficult boss. I just didn't even really take that into account. I more so really didn't consider that they'd give me a boss that could two-shot me. I am playing like a nincompoop. Also, do you know what? No, I'm not playing with all the spiders in that room. Go away. I don't hold R very often. But that is one time, one such time. This is bad though. We are we are having what I would call a major, major struggle bus right now. It's just Eve. She is just a wholeheartedly, absolutely turd character. Like I used to love, love this character. And then they nerfed Sumptorium and I never really minded the Sump nerf. But then, like, it's just one of those things where it's like, you don't really care about the nerf until it hits. And then you're like, dude, what is this? <laughs> Number two is really good for us here. Oh, actually, no, it's not. I literally can't proc it without using some. Didn't want to spawn that if that's not already clear. How on earth am I meant to reach that? Can I, like, go... No. No. Guess I'll just take the book of secrets. Don't really care about it. Okay, so yeah, number two is is almost worthless. <laughs> it's it's very near to worthless. Just because I mean we can get secret rooms out of it, but using it during combat is gonna be quite a pickle. Yeah, using it during combat is not gonna be easy. In fact, I really should take the time to do my due diligence here and actually blow up these guys to see if I get anything good. Like that. You see? Worth it. Worth it. But yeah, so it's like we can use it, but we just have to be very, very, like, on it with our Sumptorium. We just need more red health, really. Definitely don't care about that. We got the soul heart for free. I'm not not going to complain about that right now. Um, blue map is incredible for us here. This has got the makings of a good run. The makings of a good run. Ooh, hello. You're eternal. I kind of forgot that it'd spawn a, a miser tiered boy. Okay, we can actually spawn some boys now. Do you know what? I comp I've been using it for ages and I immediately, literally, immediately, completely and utterly forgot about the fucking bombs. I lost my soul heart straight away. Literally, instantly forgot. Just a burn-headed move. We 
We've got a Yara here. Okay, thank you. And we got to heal that. Dude, why is the spiders dropping after combat? Go away. Oh, God. Okay, this is, um, this is not good. This is eternal. Yeah, this is going to be really tough. I'm probably going to lose some HP here. Y'all want to stop sh They merged. I forgot we had the miser, dude. Apparently, whenever they get close to each other, they merge back together. It's kind of interesting. Go away. This is so difficult with this fire rate. Someone just needs to make a mod for Eve that just boosts her fire rate by like five. No, not five, but like, please. <laughs> There probably already is a mod like that, actually. I need to go and check, because, yeah, I, I, this is just painful. It's just painful. I mean, I've kept my Golden Heart Boy, but I think that's just because the Golden Heart one has more HP. We got you. Turns all your hearts into burn hearts. Is that a good thing? Turning our hearts into burn hearts. Oh my god. I don't think it is. I'm going to leave that for now. Right. This has already been a tragedy of a run. Tragedy of a run. I will not let it get, get my spirits down though. I love doing that. <laughs> it's, it's so fun. Crystal key is amazing. Uh, upgrade all familiars for a single room, one-time use of sewing box. I mean, that doesn't really help us right now. But yeah, I love the crystal key. It's so good. I need to remember about those bombs. I keep forgetting about them. Right. We go down again. Honestly, not having a great time of Eve here. Not having a great time of Eve. We're not really going to get to use um, thingy that often. Especially when we've got excess... Excess clots, we really don't want to use Sumptarium and our uh, bombs. There's a red room already. Spawns an extra item in the shops. <sighs> That's okay. I'm going to leave that there for now. And I might come back and reroll that. So we found our ultra secret room, which is pretty positive. There is enemies in here, unfortunately. Dude. I'm so weak. I can't even kill this... Stupid! Oh my god. Oh look, it gave me the kidney bean for free! How generous! The void bombs are actually pretty good. Look how long this is taking, this is just silly. Okay, it's so a lot of money. That means we can actually start re-rolling now without worrying too much. Okay, I could have I could have yarrowed in this room to get some more stuff. Probably would have been a decent idea. Right, I really need something that's going to up my HP here. Job earn is good, but it's not going to do it. Nope, I gotta take it. I gotta take it. It's me. I've got to take me. I think, I think, I can't remember if it did, but I think Turtle Baby got a buff in one of the most recent patches. He is pretty good. He's not insane, but 
He does have good fire rate, which is something that we most certainly do not have. But I'm very happy to have him along uh, along for the ride. Now, make him sewing machine upgradable, and then I'll then I'll really uh, I'll really love you. But he's going to help us quite a lot. He is going to help us quite a lot. I don't know if I ever been able to put this guy in a thumbnail. I don't know if I actually have ever put Turtle Baby in a thumbnail. But yeah, this is a this is a familiar from Ipecac based on yours truly. He is a little turtle baby that has a melon head that fires melon seeds. He's a little cutie is what he is. Okay, more bombs. More bombs is actually really good because of the void bombs. We can abuse that. Use it and abuse it. Right. Head back out this way. Head back over to our secret room over here. Just remember to... Wait a minute. I've got, I've got to just try something. Okay. This is a really broken synergy. This is a really broken synergy. The fact that we can proc... This off of... That's insane. We just have literally unlimited locusts now. It's Mr. Krabs. Agagagagagag. -ag 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 -ag. Is that a luck penny? Beautiful. We definitely need that. Literally, all we gotta do is fire a butt bomb, some, fire a butt bomb, some, and just repeat. This is going to be quite beautiful. Nah, I'd rather keep my Yara, actually. I need to remember to use my Yara at some point. I haven't actually used it yet. Do you know what? That is not what I meant, game. I tried to sum, but guess what? It put it in the wrong fucking slot again. And, oh, I know some of you will be like, oh, but Turtle, just remember it doesn't... No, the game does it wrong. It should always keep your fucking pocket active as the active thing, and you should have to swap to your card uphill. Always. I don't care if I use my active by accident. I really care if I use my card uphill by accident. Okay, so... Big Sad can't upgrade my boy. I will, however, buy both of these items. What does bombing an empty donation machine even do? Okay, it doesn't do anything. I, I, I thought that was the case, but I had to check. But yeah, we have a, a pretty a pretty solid setup now. This should be a pretty one run. There's some finagling I have to do, I'll admit. But should be a pretty one run. But where, where am I going? I thought that was the boss for some reason. Good, good. Oh, hello, sir. You did manage to hit me there. Foul gut, heart container. Ooh, baby. That is a little saucy. Now, the good thing about this is we can fill literally all of these. Get rid of all of these rotten hearts. We do lose our eternal heart for this, which is a little annoying, but then we can do that. Beautiful. Just to get rid of the rotten hearts. I don't know what happens if we resump the rotten hearts now though, I will I will admit. I have no idea. So let's find out. Okay, it just gives us the rotten hearts back. Fair enough.
I love the way it spawns the white ones, it just spawns a shit ton. Found our ultra secret room again here. Crystal key is godly. Lil Loki! What a cutie! Unfortunately, not a very good familiar, but he is upgradable, so let's not diss. Um, fortunately, there is a Damocles dude there. That's kind of funny. Void bombs plus butt bombs is the best. Oh, number two, should I say? It's not actually butt bombs. I always get butt bombs and number two confused in name. I do have a problem of accidentally being able to push the bombs around quite a lot. And also accidentally sumping and not actually placing the bomb down. Empress, World, and Emperor. I gra I'll grab the Emperor, why not? Right, let's keep on moving. Go get out of the secret room over here. We have a massive suite of flies here, so we don't even need to... Do much bombing for a few rooms, I wouldn't think. But I will anyways, because why not? Guess what I did? Guess what I did again? Guess what I did again? I used the wrong fucking thing, because it placed it in the wrong shitting place once again. Because it does it all the fucking time. And every little single fucking time I forget. Because it's fucking obvious that it shouldn't fucking do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I f oh, why didn't I use my coupon? I always forget coupon works in there. That was stupid. Absolutely annoying game. I love the fact that you can get these rooms. Ooh, baby. Both of these trinkets are absolutely amazing. But Crystal Key is too fun. I like getting extra red rooms. And it's like a, I think it's a Tainted Lost Unlocked. Uh, unlock as well, so it makes me feel good to actually utilize it. I think it's Tainted Lost to Mother, right? I love the fact that I've managed to keep this Golden Heart alive this whole time. Gusty Blood. That's really nice, because we need tears up. I just keep sucking her back up. And also, the actual butt bomb itself does a good job. That's another red room there. Did that actually hit me? That's evil. Ooh, a lot of pennies. Thank you. Never know exactly where to place the bomb here, but I'm going to guess it's right there. Huzzah, huzzah. Okay, we are sitting very pretty. I don't even need to get the extra hearts. I literally don't really care about having Sumptorium babies. Like, they are not my main form of attack anymore. They have become incredibly secondary. Incredibly secondary. Right, um, yeah, we carry on down. Now, this run's going to be a little long. I will say, this, this run's going to be a little longer than usual, but we don't mind, do we? Good, good. One of my rooms, actually. Hello. And it gave us a red room as well. Which will be ultra secret room. Ah, damn it. I had to hedge my bets and try. But yeah, even if we don't, like, there's no enemies in the room, we still want to create bombs to create more locusts. Hey, Rotten Baby's really nice. I'll take that. Hey, we got conjoined. That's awesome. And anyone that says it's not is a doofus.
Yeah, having the miser, the, the little miser clot alive still is just precious. I'm loving it. And I love the noise it makes every single time. Give me that back. We're just getting way too many crystal key procs. And as well, one thing that's like a nice little synergy here. Um, I, actually, no. I was, I was thinking of the wrong trinket there. I was going to say every time I pick up a penny, it has a chance to open a red room. But that's literally a different trinket. Ignore me. I'm making things up now. But, like, we went from having a terrible run as this character to having a really good one. Like, a really good one. Devil. Eh, we'll take a devil card. Why not? Let's swap with Sumptorium. There you go. Haha, -ha, Sumptorium's in the prime spot now. Don't use it by accident. Stupid people. By stupid people, I mean literally me and me alone. Oh, for God's sake, Rotten Pork Chop keeps farting, and it makes me think I've dropped a bomb, but I actually haven't. There you go. Oop, and we got another red room here. I don't know where, where, where the hell is the red room? Oh, it's there. God damn it, I placed a bomb and it got deleted by the lag clear thing. My god, we have so many rotten hearts. What's going on with all the rotten hearts? I mean, I like them. It's more damage for us. With our still very slow fire rate, which we're barely noticing anymore. Just swimming, 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 swimming. And what we can do now is we can, like... Just stack up a ton of locusts. Ready for the boss fight. There you go. That's a nice suite of locusts there. And let's not even shoot this time. Yep, you're dead. <laughs> hey, Angel Deal. That's kind of what I've been looking for. Honestly, old bandage? No, old bandage is pretty good because we could get a, uh, extra red hearts. Hmm. I'll grab that. The little arrows that it shoots can be pretty useful. We'll grab a key piece as well, just in case we want to do Mega Satan. I'm just going to go and grab a heart out here real quick, because there's a few. Thank you. I realize there's a bunch of hearts that I could be turning into some babies, but we've already established there is literally no need to have excess, because we're always going to be using our butt bombs anyways, so we're going to be sucking them back up straight away nonetheless. Okay, nice. Yeah, the little arrow shots are pretty good. Steam sale there's rather nice. Fire the bomb. We didn't get a red room last time, did we? I don't think we got a red room on the last floor, which is a first since we got Crystal Key. But this run has become quite wild. Check our shop real quick. We got a ton of money. Okay, we do have an upgradable little Loki boy. Oh, we only got to use it once though. That's fair. Speed up is very, very nice. Speed up. I'll grab a sack as well. Why not? I've never really noticed Humbling Bundle doing too much. Oh, wait, that's because that was the last run. <laughs> Stupid. I forget this is the third run of the episode, which is... Not very normal for me, but... Oh, use my card again. Good, good. Love that. Does fire rate, in like, increase the Sumptorium time it's taking? Because it's, I swear it's the, the bar's getting way further round before we drop a bomb now. Like, way further round. Maybe I'm just misseeing it. Oh, 
Or maybe it's not, actually. Maybe it's not. Golden bombs. Golden bombs is actually insane, because we can just, like, spam bombs and get a bunch of locusts going on. Let's get a full suite of locusts going. It's sad that the white locusts take up so much space, like, on our familiar setup. Right. We haven't seen our item room yet, actually, this floor. Let's go back and grab that real quick. More locusts. I don't know where that would be, actually. Probably up and to the left, maybe. Okay, now we can just let the locusts do their thing. We've got a ton of white locusts to just take care of everything. Let them do that. Okay, now we're going to have to spawn some more. Guess what I did? Ha <laughs> I did it again. I fucking used my card instead of Sumptorium. Because the game doesn't fucking place it in the right fucking place. And I do it literally every fucking time. Yeah, I thought it'd be here. We have a lot of red health. I kind of do want to do the rest of the floor to try and get a red room, but at the same time, this is already a long run and we don't really need it. This run's already good enough as is. Just planting bombs as we go here to get more locusts. Okay, I think that's enough. No thank you, blue spiky block. A big fat no to you. Okay, down we go. Oh my lord. How many rooms do you think we can get through with just the locusts we have right now? Probably like five, I'd say. Especially considering one of them's non-combat. Check the shop real quick as well. Ooh, we got another one of these. Hello. Rotten baby getting upgraded. Upgraded. My boys are upgraded. I don't know what rotten baby does when he's upgraded. I'm guessing he just spawns flies more often. I don't, yeah, I don't actually know. Fire rate increase. Beautiful. Okay. Spawn a few more bombs here. Get a few more locusts going. And you are Dunion Rings, fella. Dunion Rings. One more boss. Hey, we got another red room here as well. I do like the fact that red rooms sometimes give you access to rooms you shouldn't have access to. Stuff like that. Another hit I shouldn't have taken there. Still, the Golden Heart is still alive. It's quite unbelievable as to how, but it is still alive. It is a complete mystery to all involved. Don't really need these pennies, but I'll pick them up anyways. Do you know what? Yes, you can have my coupon. And we got little tummy. Which I don't think is upgradable. No, he's not. Like, the coupon might end up getting me a devil deal for free or whatever, but it's like, I'd rather have this little fat dude that makes a ton of noise and is really annoying.
Look at him go. Right. Use a normal bomb here, it's just quicker. I was just about to say what the hell's this room, then I realised you can actually move the barrel, so it's not, not that bad, actually. Nothing in there we need. I'm hoping we do get a better space bar item along the way here. And... Boom goes the dynamite. Here's our boss. I think I'm just going to run straight through. I know we haven't been to that item room, but I'm pretty okay with that right now. Yeah, the, the, the little miser dude just keeps getting healed, like, a lot. So he's perpetually in a really good spot. Of course, we're a little bit late for boss rush. I will take this. Okay, so the womb is where things start to get a little scary. Womb, there it is, and so on and so forth. And also, our health isn't great right now. Like, I wouldn't say it's bad, but we do need some more red health right now. God, stop deleting my bombs. That is the most frustrating thing about that mod. Stop removing my bombs. I earned those bombs. Don't just delete them. I'm going to go this way just to see if I can open up a red room to shortcut into this uh, secret room. I don't know if we'll get that lucky, but it would be awesome if we could. God, little tummy. Why do you make such annoying noises? Damn it, no shortcut. Why do you make such annoying noises? Have to be the centre of attention, don't you? Like, listen to him go. There is two red red chests we can easily get access to here. I'm going to say I should at least try it. There's our next uh, thingy as well. Wow. You're dead already. That was quick. That was very fast. We only have one spot for black hearts and soul hearts now. Okay, I'm very surprised this wasn't the, 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 the boss. Very surprised at that. We have a bed here. I do kind of want to sit here and then heal in the bed. I know we'll lose out on locusts, but just to get like a redonkulous army going. Because they all have conjoined. And they seem to all be firing these arrow shots too, which is pretty funny. I can just see my FPS is just slowly but surely dying. Which means it's taking longer and longer for me to actually sump. Do you know what? I'm pretty bored of this now. One more heart will do it. It'd be so funny if each one of these plant their, planted their own bomb. Thank you. I just think it's fun to have, like, a ridiculous amount of these fellas. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure where the boss is now. Things are going to die real fast right now, though. We have an absolutely chaotic army with us. Hmm. Boss room, boss room. Where might you be? Eternal boss champions with holy light in it. Yes, please. I will 100% take holy light. I didn't really mean to grab that, but I did anyways. Okay, you are now dead. Oh, there's Mama Gerdy here as well. How did 
you not die to that? Dude, how are you... That thing's got a lot of health. Okay. Let's go. Right. I think I know which one's boss room. I'm not 100% on that. Come on. Don't give me this bullshit enemy. Luckily, he wasn't too much of a hassle. My god. The shot's covering the whole screen right now. This is what I mean by, like, Eve gets ridiculous late game, but in the early game, she's just so unenjoyable to play. She's just so trash. Like, she's she's so powerful right now that I'm at, like, 23 FPS. It's crazy. Oh, are you spawning more? I think that's what's go what was going on in that room there. Okay, apparently I don't know where the boss room is because I thought it was there. It seems to be down this way. So I've taken the, the literal longest route on this floor, unfortunately. I heard a red room open. I do not know where. Yeah. You gotta check it. You gotta check it. Just in case that ultra secret room rears its beautiful head. There's some red items like Sacred Heart in there that are just tickety boo. Do you know what? We haven't used bombs in a little while here. Let's get back to the classics. As for this room, I despise this room. Too many hands. Luckily, they do come down pretty much one at a time. Apart from when five come down at once. Get some locusts up in here. I think I did lose a lot of my sump babies here. So we're back I think we're back to back to the classic tactics now. Of having quite literally unlimited friends. We've already been to this, right? That we have. Okay, down we go. Ooh, at least health is in a really good spot. At least health is in a really good spot. Okay. Boss is a little hard to find here. Oh, what the fuck? The golden heart! No! My precious golden heart! How could you leave us? We needed you. And we needed you most. You are gone. I can't believe it. it the fucking butt bomb got like stuck on me and like followed me. I was very confused. Okay. Really? Some bad secret rooms here. I will take a health up pill, actually. When we lose the burn hearts, we need to replenish it somehow. Stop deleting my bombs, game! I get that it's anti-lag and it's trying to, to help me, but... It, you, you're being a horrible... I also don't know what hit me there. Is this... I think this room's of my creation. And I've confused myself thusly. I can't leave. That was like a guaranteed bit of damage there. Eh, it gave us some, it gave us some stuff. And a balls of steel pill. Eh, pretty happy about that actually. It deleted my bomb again. Stop. I just want locusts. I right, just keep spawning the bombs. Try and throw them the other way so they get stuck on us. As long as we get some explosive locusts, we're in a good spot.
Oh my god, the holy light shots. Adam's rib. Okay, up we go. Up we go. Like I said, a little bit of a long episode. But we're doing okay. We know what's what. I love the fact that the Hanging Keepers also have the unique faces now as well. I don't know when that got added, but I like it. Kind of weird for the second secret room to be here, but I'll accept it. The range up is kind of nice. There's a spider there. A single penny in a in a closet. Top tier room there. Okay, boss is definitely over this way. Not quite sure how I took so much damage in that room, but we do have some hearts back over here. There you go. Oh, I think I just didn't sump what I when I meant to. So I, I I didn't lose as much health as I thought. I just had a lot of it in sump form. A lot of it was stored as clots. Let me leave. Let me go. We did miss our uh, fair secret room there, but I'm kind of like past that at this point. Oh, another awful room. Just put your head up, fools. Okay, Isaac, we are at you now. I'm probably going to get hit a little bit in this fight just because of the craziness that is on screen right now. I'm basically just going to be planting bombs everywhere and firing off butt bombs to the beat of my own drum. If we can hit him with the bombs, that would be a huge plus, because it'll go through the boss armor, but... Don't know how plausible that's going to be from time to time. He is taking very low damage right now. Oh, I did manage to hit him with a bomb there. That was pretty good. I, like, landed it exactly where he spawned. Pretty easy kill there. Good, good. And we'll see what items we end up getting here. Ghost bombs. Greedy Limpet. Gain a small start point when picking a coin. Chance to lose stat ups and spawn pickups once per floor when coins are picked up. Try it out. Money equals power is incredible right now. So let me just try ghost bombs here. Oh yes. Oh yes, they're ghost bombs too. This has just upped itself a level. It has upped itself a level. I mean, obviously the ghost bombs only last for one room, unlike the locusts, but still, really good to have. This shouldn't be a hard floor at all. I mean, we're just blitzing through enemies right now. On that secret room, no problem. Oh, I love this room. The design in this room is pretty cool. The fact that as well, like, we're actually firing off the bombs themselves, which are dealing good damage too. And most times the bombs aren't even getting to explode when we're killing stuff. I don't actually know if this is the way to the boss, by the way. I'm just taking an educated guess. It looks, it looks about right. Normally you have to go through at least one big room, like one L-shape, so I'm kind of taking that into account as well. There you go. I was right. Okay. 
We found a treasure room. Telekinesis is a great pickup right before the last boss. And not that we were going to like likely die to him anyways, but do you know what? Let's uh, let's do a bit of spawning of, um, of locusts before we get in there. Just in case. I love the little ghost chips. They look so good. I just want to get enough, like, explosive locusts to have a good time. And I think we have that now. We pop in here. We do this. And we just get in here and wreck him. We, ha we do have limited HP here. And as you can see, that didn't do a, a crazy amount of damage. But these ghosts are going to do a good job. Holy Light's going to do a good job. The locusts are going to do a good job. Oh. All in all, we're in a pretty good spot. Let's just keep managing to, to use telekinesis wherever we can. Did get hit there, but that's fine. It's only one hit out of however many we've got available. I could use Sack Dagger a little bit, but as you just saw, not a great idea because I just walked right into him. And again, I walked right into him. I haven't fired a Butt Bomb in a while. I'm not sure why. There you go. It wasn't, it wasn't like working for some reason. But there you go. I think he's pretty much bested. We got him. UFK unlocked. I hope you guys enjoyed this run. Actually, not as long as I thought the episode was going to be. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.